Well, here we go. Getting ready for work in the morning. And what happens? We have a power cut. Just managed to boil the kettle to make the coffee for the usual flask full. It's four o'clock. No rest for the wicked at that sort of time, is there? So, yeah, a lantern lamp, which is through night. These are a survival kit, which Prepper Man actually uh, put me onto these. So, I've got light for the kitchen for now, so I can uh, enjoy the coffee and everything else that is involved with getting up in the morning. And what happens? The battery goes flat. Nice one, Prepper Man, thank you. Well, I'll just take advantage to put the sign up here. And we've got two of them, so that's all right. So I'll sit here and see how long the battery lasts for on this one. You yeah, like her? You yeah, like her? The music? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Sometimes I get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad, I'm like, I might grab a bat. I don't know. My wrath, my blood boils over like. Oh God, here goes I lost all feeling from my head to my toes You said some shit that I can't let go So just stay tuned for the rest of the show So have you ever felt betrayed? Switch is how you see things hey. Feel like something needs change You're like a good music Cause I yeah. know you got me no, fucked up Let me music. show you oh. what's up Cause enough is yes, Look, there's a Harry board down there He's doing something. I don't think he's working. <laughs> Things can get a little bit crazy on late shift. Anyway, if you look very closely, Harry, he's got his mobile phone in hand, which he is glued to, but he's using the torch on it while he's working. He should really, bare minimum, have a keyring torch like this, Wuben G2. Very nice, prepper guy sort of stuff. Well, actually, it's not just for prepping, it's for anybody. You need light, don't you? So this one is a key ring LED torch, which is rechargeable, has a belt clip as well. Okay, so it comes compact. There's the charging cable there. I'll show you that in a minute, but I want to show you this interesting, huh? Can you guess what it is yet? Anyway, my key ring set has all sorts of junk on it you know toolbox keys car key tesco club card tool station club card house keys bike keys and loads of uh, shackles this you might be interested in i always have at least three ways of lighting a fire okay this is a ferrocium rod i think that's how you say it which is basically a sparker okay two bits of metal you rub together and you get a spark yeah, big deal, isn't it? Unless you're stuck out, this throws shards of metal and uh, you can light things with it, especially gas, uh, petroleum, or even wood shavings, okay? So that's always on there. Unlike the gas bottles, there's something missing off here, okay? Can you guess what that is? Well, yeah, the spark is missing. It always is missing. Sometimes it's rested on uh, one of the two gauges on the gas cylinders, but it has a clip for it. That's missing. Okay, anyway, this one isn't a sparker. This is quite interesting. Look, big biro type of smallest refills you will ever see. Okay, now this little bullet here has a very sharp edge to it, just in case you need it in a survival situation to cut the ropes if you've been tied up by some sort of weirdo and a pen for writing little messages to people when you are in a sticky situation okay and it's a bullet form so you can imagine where you can put this just in case you need it but it's a survival tool okay on a key ring yeah it's imaginative but it might be necessary okay Anyway, back to the torches. I have one of these to give away, either green, blue, or black. Yes, I'd rather keep the black, but I'll, I'll give one away. The other one is for the boy, and the other one is for me. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, scroll through LED technology. I think you already know about uh, most LED torches. They do this sort of thing, but this has got a very pokey lamp with it. Okay. And it's rechargeable. That's the main thing. You don't have to change batteries on it at all, unlike some annoying torches that do, like bike torches. So, 
yeah, if you're interested and you want one straight away, G2, there will be a giveaway video. I'm giving away two torches, but you've got to wait to the end of this video for details, okay? Anyway, back to Happy Land. Happy Land, yes, where everything's joyful all the time. Air guns don't work without compressed air. And you've got to be strong and tough to carry one of these around so that we're way about 12 kilograms, okay? And there's my head torch, which I left at work to charge up. Yeah, that is still working. A through night torch, actually, they're available now. If you remember, they weren't when I did a review on these. Still working very well, and I really wish at this point I'd used it. But I do have a through night torch also to show you and to give away one later. Just watch it till the end of the video. Right, so, <laughs> Liddles, look at this. Very, very nice angled drill yeah it could do with one of these i actually went to Lidl's. there weren't any there andy got the last one yeah battery powered yeah so you can have that back i'm jealous now because i can't find one thank you andy instead we'll have to settle for a set of jemmy bars from Lidl's for about 13 quid yeah mine keep going missing i don't know why there seems to be a tool that everybody seems to like to uh, take home and disappear don't they so uh, for levering tires on but yeah we had a project today in the garden which was involving taking lots of nails out of wood and working out how to be efficient to not damage the wood so jemmy bars nice i'll take that to work on uh, tuesday and uh, if you want to know what this is you'll have to watch my other channel so toolboxes let's get on with the old toolbox tool now you do lay out your toolbox as you need your tools so we always like to be in a standing position don't we and we will put order of priority from top to bottom so we don't have to bend down to reach tools do we or we'll have them at a level we which we can access yep so you lay your tool back box out how you need to there's the junk drawer which oh i've got so much crap it's unbelievable yeah down at the bottom here this has got to be the worst drawer of all where you have to bend down this is stuff you don't use much well i do actually use the riveter and i put my battery charges in there so that's the sort of stuff in the bottom drawer and it is completely disorganized i don't know how to organize it this has got to be the worst one which is the electric draw but I put my knife in here have you got one of these a Stanley knife if you ain't got one you ain't part of the crew are you Stanley knife handiest things in the world this is my box cutter safety blade okay and this retracts by itself rather than the old type which you uh, had to pull the thing back turn the blade over when you've worn half of it and then start again yeah so that's a nice bit of kit that just for cutting packaging open and bits of plastic on electrics yep that's why it's in the electrics drawer okay quite often i'll have the empty pouch there okay and the knife will be here because i've been using it but i haven't lost it yet and as they say in a workshop when somebody's in a bad mood always hide the blades and the ropes so they don't hurt themselves yeah so we do have an issue with snap-on this one's a snap-on pipe cutter it's a very efficient blade. Unfortunately, I can't get near the blades because snap-on is not about. So what we've gone over is to a Stanley blade fitting pipe tool. Okay, and the blades get chewed up rather quickly, but at least I have a supply of blades, which are readily available because Stanley blades are common as muck, aren't they? So that's my blade collection knives. Shut the drawer, forget about that until it's tidied one day sometime maybe yeah now this bottom drawer here it's been tidied can you tell the difference how it used to be and we put the yoga mat down there which has uh, already got impressions in it yeah it's okay for what it is but i'm not happy with it because it's not organized enough and i did buy some clips about two years ago to make a board to clip all the uh, the ratchets and the bars and the extensions onto okay which we'll get round to within the next two years maybe but at least they're in a box and we ain't going to lose those these don't need to be in there but i've put them there because i don't want idiots using them because they wrecked them and this has taken up space but at least i can see which is missing yeah now the screwdriver drawer now i'm <laughs> jumping around from drawer to drawer i've got some extra long screwdrivers which i've never used loads of stuff handled stuff like scrapers and then a set of 
screwdrivers which I never use and light bulbs now yeah this is relevant to that drawer because remember this uh, broscope which is quite a, a micro one I'm going to review this shortly in the video because this is a fantastic bit of kit okay it's more compact than the other test long endoscope that I had and it does work for looking in spaces especially these leg brackets which uh, they're getting a little bit annoyed with because I keep finding cracks in them well that's my job isn't it to find defects yeah but it works okay this is what it's for is for inspecting and it's becoming one of those tools that I use all the time because it's an extra pair of eyes that sees round corners and into holes yeah so you can see the crack on there can't you so what I want to do, because it's in a cardboard box, the cardboard box is not going to last very long, is to actually put it in the screwdriver drawer, which means ejecting, or jettisoning, jettisoning, should I say, screwdrivers. Yep, yeah, so what am I going to get rid of? Actually, I could get rid of quite a lot. Now, this one is in a box. It works really, really well, and it's become a station bike. Everybody wants to use this because it's handy. Okay, but it's actually too large to fit in the toolbox so it goes underneath here which is a little bit too accessible you can see all the other stuff in boxes there yeah so what we've got to do is jettison some of this crap yeah crappy old screwdrivers and light bulbs that I've just kept just in case and these screwdrivers I'm not sure about snap-on screwdrivers which as they say use them you lose them yeah I use these more than anything the cheap screwdrivers and uh, yes this is a hard decision what do I do chuck out the old stuff and use my snap-on or use these and chuck out the snap-on not too sure yet but what I'll do here is just turn them around so all the names are there like they say, uh, use it or lose it in this case if you do use it then you lose it so I'm a bit keen to keep them in one place now anyway in this screwdriver drawer got this thing here which you probably know what it is yeah it's a uh, tire valve core remover but it doesn't fit on these particular trailer wheels as you can see the hub gets in the way this one is the same sort of tool a lot shorter but it's also a thread restorer as well yeah just out of uh, interest do you know what this tool is i'll just show you here it's got a slot in it and a bar do you know what it is please tell me because I can't remember don't ever use it and just for a tip for you young guys you can actually get valve caps that do have valve core tighteners or, or remover replacers which is there you can put an extension on it and make it into a tool yep so that's a cheap option there so we're just going to take a short break while I pull this piece of bronze out of my finger which has been irritating me all day you see there this is the true nature of needle nose pliers okay so uh, yeah that feels much better now you can just see here that piece of metal ouch right then guys time for a joke yeah where do the russians go to the toilet in a vladimir putin get it right okay i'll get, get me coats yeah so anyway um this through night head torch comes with one of these headbands you know oh, i got given it and there are uh, supply shortages and it's intermittent on a lot of products okay and we just it's just one of those things we have to uh, accept now so uh, when you go to a store and it's not there it probably will be later headband i wash quite often and didn't realize until i got it out of the wash today upside down it looks like a flipping jock strap doesn't it yeah <laughs> oh dear Jock strap with a lantern mm, for a midget. So anyway, the other torch I want to talk about, right, this one I do like through night. They, they come up with innovative designs, but this one, uh, yeah, this one grabs me. Now, we, I, I don't know what you think, but I have this intuition or this feeling that we are going to go through some problems, power cuts and all sorts. And we had one in this property um, 
a few nights ago, yeah, which I told you about at the start of the video, yeah, I had this, which they sent to me to uh, to try, which was good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I had to try and charge them up, so they only lasted a short while. Now, the magic about this is strippable, yeah, so what you have is an emergency power bank here with the USB-C fitting, okay? Now, the lead that you have has your uh, standard mobile phone connectors with them, and you have your USB... Uh, for your computer but you also it breaks down to usb uh, c which you can plug in to your battery yeah and then charge some up now my mobile went flat i charged it up and i got to 60 64 percent from one charge on this yeah it's reversible so if you need to charge the battery up and you have something like a mobile phone connector or, or usb c to uh to USB-C you can do it the other way so it's omnidirectional cable yeah which is a good thing this is an emergency survival thing yeah uh, one thing you should do is make sure these are always charged up and it does have a little button on here you press here and it's got a charge indicator with it yeah so it'll come up green which is good okay the casing I think is tertiary really okay so uh, you can drop the battery in there and then fit the lamp okay so the lamps here three settings on it okay which is bright is actually quite bright that lasts for eight hours yeah um the other settings are on the screen just here okay um you have magnetic bottom base on it so you have a hook which you hang up which is handy for camping or whatever yeah or for me in the kitchen on a hook but because it, it's magnetic, you can also hang it upside down on a pair of garden shears, yeah? Or place it on something like that, okay? If you feel really adventurous, you could always do the impression of the uh, uh, original Arnold Schwarzenegger's Total Recall and pull the red out of your nose. Do you remember when he did that? He pulled that thing out of his nose, didn't he? That's a joke, yeah. So anyway, you also have a, uh, a little thing there for... Uh, 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 would you call it a lanyard yeah so basically yeah i've got two of these i'm going to give one of these away okay along with as i said earlier the keychain light now it's 500 lumens this is which is really pokey okay and that's from wuben this is wuben g2 yeah so it's a key ring light rechargeable it's 200 and 280 milliamp hours on this one yeah and it's an osram p9 if that makes any difference to you which is actually quite pokey all right now this is just another thing um which could possibly save you energy you charge this up somewhere like work or in your car and then use it as a night light rather than having the electric on at night yeah if you're trying to save on everything you might want to start reverting to things like this and the survival um torch which is which is uh ts1 actually okay so links will be below for the products if you want to go and have a look at those products because that other um novelty could actually be one of those things you might need if you're that way inclined yeah but um what the giveaway is now okay is i'm giving either a key train and the uh, st light okay the survival torch or lantern should i say tell me which one you want and which color you want at the keychain you've got th choice of three now uh one's going to me one's going to my boy and then there's one for you but i'll let you make the choice so you can tell me in the comments below this video okay which one you want uh what color you want of the keychain or if you want the uh, the survival lantern candle lights yeah tell me that you want that i will then do draws in two weeks time and then the winners will get the torches okay simple as but if you're impatient and you want one now you can always go and buy them yeah um shipping like i said stuff like that is a bit intermittent and the way things are going at the moment i think everything is either grinding to a halt or coming to a collapse yeah uh, and you know the reality of what's happening anyway yeah so yeah basically that is it that's that's what the giveaway is okay now if you've been watching all my videos you'll know chimp had planted a banana okay it's still there it hasn't grown <laughs> but it started to turn into an insect factory in here yeah so there's loads of flies coming out of here 
that will rot down and what we'll do we'll plant something in there because that makes good compost but I'm afraid guys I'm giving up doing motor mechanics and I'm going to turn into being a gardener because I've managed to grow something look yeah and amazing yeah something green that I did myself but yeah <laughs> there's hoping hey eh? that was one out of 20 seeds and most of them failed I only got like two of these little plants out of it yeah so I'll just keep trying anyway yeah so that's it guys anyway enjoy your week and I'll see you in the next video take it easy